Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now it is that sad time of year again when the river season ends, but that doesn't mean we can't necessarily fish the rivers. As you can see, I'm in one right now, and that is because even though the course fishing has ended on rivers, the trout season has started. Now the trout season actually starts on different dates, depending on what region you live in. So you'll have to Google that and find out. Thankfully, mine starts not long after the river season ends, which is why I'm stood in the river right now. And hopefully I'm gonna get a few on the bank. Um, I have got a bit of a plan. It is a bit sort of rainy today. And I think there's more rain forecast later on. So I'm gonna start off where I am now in a more rural area out in the countryside. I'm going to be chucking little jerk baits, little spinner baits. I've got absolutely everything, little creature baits, just trying to catch as many fish as I can. And then what I'll do is when the rain hits, we'll move to a more urban area. I'm going to try for one big fish there at the end of the session. I managed to do it right at the end of the last trout season, if you can remember rightly. Had a massive fish of a lifetime, just under six pound wild brown trout. And hopefully we can try and do the same again today, although I doubt it. So without further ado, let's get cracked on. I'm going to share some hints and tips along the way on how you can catch some trout in your local waters. Let's get some fish on the bank. Look at spook something then. Oh, no, something went for it. Yes, oh no, we come off. Right in front of me, oh no. How's oh, another good sized fish? Now I've been having a bit of bad luck this session so far. I've been using really small spinners with single hooks and I'm not really hooking into many fish or at least I'm not really keeping them on. Uh, I've lost a couple of my spinner baits now and this is why it can be quite good to have a large range of baits with you when you do any type of law fishing really but especially trout fishing. So I've got my tackle box here um, I've got some small jerk baits, I've got some crank baits, I've got some other spinner baits, I've even got some small soft plastic creature baits as well just in case. Now what you will see is a few of these baits I've got in here have got treble hooks on. Now what I will do before I cast these out for the trout, I will take these off and put singles on. This is very, very important as trout are very sensitive fish uh, and treble hooks can cause quite a lot of damage to the mouth of these fish. So using singles, yes, you may miss the odd bite, but it is a lot better for the fish. I think now it's time to change over to a little chubby crankbait. See if we can get some on the bank. I know for a fact you normally get trout along this bit because I have them nearly every single time I fish the river. So usually, there we go, there's one. <laughs> yes, let's keep one on, please. Yes, come on, whoa. All right, must have my camera out, stop. Where's my net? We finally, finally, finally caught the first trout of the season. I'm not even going to show this one off to the big camera because it's not a huge fish, but it is a beautiful brownie. It's a good way to start off my brown trout season. And just as I was saying, there's always fish here. Fish on, fish on, yep. Really well up that one. Brought it over to the black. No, oh, no, which way we got it. Here I am, buddy.
I've been racing around after these brown trout with little spinner baits, little crank baits, and I just thought I'd change over to a soft plastic bait as the bouncing sort of off the spinners and off the hard baits and not coming back. I had a few hits in a row, it took a tentacle off this little creature bait and then it nailed it and it's actually not a bad little brownie. <laughs> we hit the jackpot here boys. <laughs> One man's junk is another man's treasure. See if it's got an hole in it. Whee! Bit sharp. Any holes are gold. Woo! <laughs> on a serious note though, that's actually pretty sad. Look at all this. Someone's fly tipped. So much junk. All the way from there, all the way along here. Down there, further up the river, there's something dumped in there, looks like a moped. Absolutely disgusting. Obviously a stolen moped. A bag with old PlayStation controllers. Probably more stolen goods to be fair. Been ditched for some reason. Yeah. Right, we are now out of the river because the rain is now coming. And the annoying thing is, when it comes to small rivers like this, I mean, look how tiny it is. Um, the moment the rain comes, it immediately starts to fill up. And if it's heavy, I won't be able to wade any much longer. So it's time to rush now. I'm gonna to go to the urban area in search of hopefully a big, big rat munching brown trout. We can only hope. Chub. No, no, you're out of season, boy. Sorry, I hope you're twice then. I'll right, see you later, buddy. You go and spawn or whatever you're gonna do. <gasps> Big trout. There we go, we got it, we got it. That's a good trout. That's a good trout. Oh, only still on still. On. Yes, yes, yes. That's why we come to this part. Okay, it's not huge. I don't think that's the one that swelled it at first. I definitely don't think it is. Yes, but that's why we come to this part. Let's work my hand. Get this bait out first. We'll take a look at. Oh, look at that! Both single hooks on that jerk bait have gone into that fish. Let's be very, very careful here. Now, this is exactly why I decided to come to this urban area. I was hoping for bigger fish, but I will take this. This is absolutely lovely, and what I would class as a, a specimen wild brownie. Colours on that are even more beautiful than the fish we caught out in the countryside. That is absolutely stunning. Probably a fish of pushing two pound. Absolutely beautiful and caught in the concrete jungle. How about that? <laughs> Let's get him back. Got it. Oh no. Nope, okay, it's not that big. Similar size that we just caught. <laughs> yes. Oh. 
I only just hooked that one. Absolutely stunning. Almost a carbon copy of the last one we caught. Maybe a little bit smaller. A bigger one hit it before this, missed it again. And then this one came in. These are stunning fish. Straight after, I'll just call that last one as well. I think we found a few. We knocked himself in the net, only just skin hooked. Get a quick release on this one because he is very, very lively. See you later, buddy. Now we're just coming up to the end of the session now, but before we end it, I just need to tell you something that I think is quite important, which is a little adjustment I made during this session, which dramatically increased my hookup rate. Now, whenever I change over from treble hooks to singles on my hard baits, um, the back hook, I always have the point sort of running along the back of the bait. So the back hook, the point is in the direction of the back of the law. Um, whereas what I changed is, I realized the best hookup chances were actually when that hook goes into the bottom jaw of the trout or into the bottom of the lip um, so what I did is just changed it so that that back hook instead of pointing along the back of my bait now points underneath meaning that when the trout takes it it has a higher chance of going into the bottom lip of the trout which seems to be where the hook finds the best hold and that immediately got me more hookups straight away um, it probably doubled or tripled my hookup rate this session so i'm going to do that and keep doing that from now on and hopefully if there's any of you guys who uh, have trouble hooking up into trout that might help out some of you guys too so without further ado i'm going to end this session it's been a cracking session we haven't caught anything monstrous i have bumped a couple of fish and had follows from a couple of fish that were real real big ones had one follow that must have been three pound i didn't show it on the video you couldn't even see it anyway but that would have been a cracking fish and i went to the urban area and we had some action there too had a couple of beautiful beautiful trout probably even nicer looking than the ones we caught out in the countryside what's all that about so thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you want to feel free to subscribe like the video if you liked it follow my instagram page which is linked below and i'll catch you guys later